The Turlock team bus got stuck in a lot of traffic and was late to arrive to Whitney High School, but that did not slow down the Bulldogs. Fresh off the bus, Turlock scores first. Aaliyah Lacerda stands on third. Haley Bacon grounds out to Alyssa Flint for the sacrifice. Aaliyah comes in to score, one nothing. Bottom first now, Whitney gets it all back and then some. Cleanup hitter Maya Flint gets a hold of this one deep into the Rockland sky. It's just fair for a three-run homer. And a little dance to finish it off. Top of the second now, Whitney flashing the D as center fielder Jordan Yakums comes flying in and makes the diving catch to take a hit away. Bottom two, Whitney threatening with two outs, but Abby Harrington is able to get the ground ball. Candace Campbell with a smooth looking stop at short. She's so money, and the Bulldogs get out of the jam. Now to the third, Sarah O'Day steps up, hip hop. Hey, oh, O'Day, ho! Oh, sending this one deep to center onto the batting cages back there. It's gone. Still in the fourth, Yakum's on second, and Alyssa Jeffrey smacks the pitch up the box and into center for a double. That will bring home Jordan, and the Wildcats are building that lead. To the seventh we go, Turlock making a late push. Alexandra Souza grounds the first, and on the play, Angie Valenzuela comes in to score the Bulldogs' second run. That will be all for Turlock as shortstop Alyssa Flint gobbles up the grounder and on to first, and for the final out, the young Wildcats from Whitney are growing up fast with their first round victory. After the game, we caught up with Hannah Duncan, who threw a no-hitter, but shouts out to her catcher instead. That was probably a huge moment because I know that's her. this is her first playoff game and I know she's been in a slump and then she got out of it with the three-run homer. That was awesome.